download my free legato course right now and learn to play fast in the fastest way possible. So, New Year's resolutions, huh? <laughs> How's it going with those from last year? Not so good? I don't, I'm not wondering, you know, it's not a, no surprise to me that if you made New, Re New Year's resolution when it comes to practicing and building your skills, that you didn't follow them. Because we never do. Why? Because it's just too much time. It's, you know, 12 months deciding that this year I will build my picking skills to the highest level or I will practice more or I will whatever, you know. It's just too, because the person in six months, you know, six months from now, is going to be a different guy, right? <laughs> different priorities, stuff happens, you know, different, you know, feelings about playing guitar. And we're trying now to decide what to do that far into the future, that's not going to happen. There is only one way to make sure that your New Year's resolutions will actually come to fruition and you'll get something out of making that decision. If this is not just a joke, you know, the New Year, it's a cool place, a cool time to make a new decision about what you want for yourself. But you have to, you know, I have to put it into some concrete form of action. So you now can do what... The question is, what can you do now that will, with 100% certainty, mean that you will improve the next year? What, can you, what actions can you take now that will make that happen to a, a higher degree as possible? For instance, instead of just saying, I want to do X and I want to do that, and then, you know, January goes by and then you've forgotten about it, then instead make some decisions, team up with a friend and say, what do we want out of 2020, right? And then go, okay, what can we do? Can we meet once a week? You know, teaming up with a friend is really, uh, it's really beneficial because when you commit to yourself, you, you very often just say, yeah, don't want to do it anyway. But if you commit to a friend, and you have like a meeting or an agreement and say, okay, what are we going to do each week or each month? Well, you can meet once a month and that set goals for, goals for the month, right? When it comes to guitar playing, okay, I want to practice one hour a day. I want to get home from work. I want to do picking exercise. I want to do a million uh, repetitions of playing triplets on one string. That's one. Okay, 999,999 to go, right? <laughs> That's what I want to do, and I want to do that the first three, mo three months. And, you know, you could set, set that meeting up and then put it in your calendar so you get reminders. So he's at work, you know, January goes by and boom, there's, oh, tomorrow I'm meeting with my friend. We're going to talk about what we want from the next month. All right? That's something you can do. You, you, you call a friend, you make that appointment, and you put it in your calendar so you can't forget. Now you made one little action or two actions. You called him and you made those recurring uh, events in your calendar, say first Monday in every month or whatever. Then it might pop up and you might not be able to do it because he's out of town or whatever, but then you can move it, right? But that action will actually reach into the future and make something happen that wouldn't have happened otherwise. Instead of just thinking, I wanna, I wanna have better guitar skills. And then nothing happens, right? You actually create something for the future. Other things you can do is to create rituals that you can easily do. Habits that are so easy to follow through on that you would be an idiot not to do it. Because very often we, we see, you know, guitar development as some kind of heroic feat. Like, I'm going to do this, this crazy thing, right? I'm going to practice eight hours a day for three months and then everything will be fine, right? That, there's nothing wrong with that if you can do that without hurting yourself. But there's nothing wrong with that. But what's more powerful is saying, I'm going to do, I'm going to practice three times a day. But for one minute, all I need to do to follow my plan is I, you know, I can reach out for my guitar and practice whatever picking pattern, whatever it is, right, that I want to practice in the morning, when I come home from work, and when, before I go to bed. Or you could just put that in when you know you're not going to practice. 
You might, you know, always practice at nighttime because that's what you feel like doing. But then instead of uh, planning for that, which is going to happen anyway, you might plan for the morning and say every single morning I'm going to practice for one minute. That's such a cool plan and it will boost your practicing results like nothing else because you you won't practice for a minute. Sometimes you will, you know, you can even do that if you got the flu. If you're sick, you can pull out the guitar and practice for one minute. So you can keep that going and you can commit to a friend and saying, wouldn't it be great if we could look back on 2020 and then say, we practiced every single morning. Oh, we practiced every single day before we went to bed and you can kind of tease each other and make sure you do it. Whatever you can do, right? Plans like that are amazingly effective because they will always lead you to practicing more. You can also say, okay, and make that even, uh, make that even stronger. I'm going to, if, if alternate picking is the, you know, the, the, the most, the best thing you could imagine mastering when it comes to techniques, or like, whatever it is, don't, don't say us, don't, don't go for a song or a solo. That's way too much way too many chords and it's it's just hopeless because you'll end up mediocre at that song right because you'll have to play it over and over again once you have a good grip of it and you can actually play it you need to practice the same amount of time you know just mastering it so master something small and achievable like play, say playing six notes with alternate picking on two strings that's how you reach something of significance being able to do that or, you know, two chords if you're a beginner. <laughs> or, you know, get to that level because then when you're playing in front of others, you'll be so good. It's easy. And you can be nervous. You can have smoke in your eyes. You know, shot in the leg. You can still do it. You can still do it because you're so good at it, right? So what you might want to do is say, okay, for an entire year, Every single morning, I'm going to practice playing three notes on one string and three notes on another in a loop. In time, totally relaxed, totally in control, no stressing and straining, hand position, no arm, no tricks, no nothing. Just get in over repetitions for just one minute every single morning. That's the first thing I do when I jump out of bed. Well, what, what if I have to, you know, rush to, the, to work? You can do one minute even though you're busy. Right? You can skip something else than practicing. Right? Skip brushing your teeth. I don't care. Just get that in. Right? One minute. And you don't have to skip anything. You can always do a minute. So what if you, for one year, could do just this every single morning? And then perhaps, you know, one minute when you come home from work. And then set an alarm every single day. And you don't s switch off that alarm for the entire year. You might move it if you, you know, sleep in or whatever. But you have those two alarms going off every single freaking day to remind you of playing one minute of... I promise you, a decision like that, setting the alarm, committing to a friend or committing online or, you know, sh filming yourself and posting it on YouTube or Facebook and say, I got this challenge and please, you know, hold my feet to the fire. Please, you know, mock me, call me all sorts of funny names <laughs> if I don't, right? Send me, you know weird images of stupid people doing stupid stuff if I don't follow through. And it's easy to follow through. What idiot can't, you know, take two times, one minute, every single day, and you go, yeah, I can do that. Yes, you can. And it will absolutely mean that you will practice that a thousand or five or 10,000 times more. It will increase the likelihood that your alternate picking skills goes up a thousand percent, like, you know, crazy amounts. Just by doing that, because it's achievable and you focus on the repetitions of doing it every day. You focus on the consistency of doing it every day. You forget about the result of being a good alternate picker completely. And instead, you focus on the consistency, doing it every day. It's a fun challenge, right? You can do it if you're sick. You can do it everywhere. You know, buy a junior guitar, put it in your car so you know if your car breaks down and you're in Alaska and you got carpets, you can, all, you can go to a trunk and then take out your guitar and do that one minute of practicing twice a day at specific hours, specific ritual, you know when to do it. And there's no, no postponing it anymore because you can't do it tomorrow because you have to do it every day. It's not about the repetitions. It's about the consistency of doing it every day. And then team up with a friend, right? Or, you know, 
Get a coach that can say, did you do it, right? Tell your mom, tell your dad, make everybody your coach, you know? And then you might even, you know, you can set a, a, a reminder in your calendar. You can do that in one minute, a recurring reminder every single day. You can set up an alarm, takes 30 seconds, two alarms, right, every day. You can do all these things in a, in a you know, it takes so little time. And it has this amazing effect on your skill level. Why? And then team up with a friend. See if you can get somebody on the wagon with you. You got Facebook friends. You got people. Say, so every could we co could we commit uh, to each other and say we want to do this? What what exercise do you want to do? Right? Where, what is it that you want to master? And then have it be so specific that there's you know it's so it's not like yeah I want to become better at rhythm guitar and I want to focus on that. Stop that. That's not. I want to play this. I want to play that rhythm specifically every day, twice a day for one minute, right? It has to be that specific. Or I want to play these two chords. Whatever it is, I don't care, right? It might be... Right? Something like that. It's the same riff repeating over and over and over again. And that makes that particular song by Stevie Ray Vaughan very good. But if it, you know, don't take a whole solo and say, I'm going to play, that's just too much. You want to own in and say, what skills do I need to play that solo? Okay, let me work on this skill. More specifically, let me work on this exercise, right? And that is the way of the master. That is, the, you know, focusing on something central, a core exercise that you can loop incessantly. That's, that's what make that the body does these, do these magical things, is that incessant repetition of something you know, repetitive and small. That's what produces that result of, damn, he's, uh, oh, darn it, he's, he's talented, right? That's what produces that result, that magic. So I hope this is inspiring to you, but this is the way of actually making New Year's resolution that work instead of just promises that you break all the time. So I hope you're inspired. I hope you will, you know, put some action into this and start thinking about what could be my... New Year's resolution. And if you're afraid that you're going to forget about this, then schedule in your calendar to watch this video again in a week from now. Then think some more. Then decide before the 1st of January and then, you know, make the arrangement, call your friends, put it in the calendar, do whatever. And then by all means, spend some time visualizing and, and looking into how cool that would be to master whatever it is that you want to master. You know, look towards the end of the year and just wow, if I could just double my tempo, if I could be that player, if I could, you know, master those chords, if I could, how cool would it be to, you know, to play that in front of people and then visualize that, feel that, you know, like when you were a little kid and you wanted something for Christmas, right? You wanted it so much, you couldn't, you imagined yourself playing with the toy and you saw yourself, you, you saw yourself, you know, showing it off to the other kids and all these things you did. We don't do that as, as adults much, right? We just dream of things we can't have, <laughs> right? But just go into that mode because that makes you excited about it and it makes you want to practice and want to keep the plan and it makes it bigger inside of you basically right it it makes it more you know it just makes it bigger in your in your mind um so that is uh my advice for your new year's resolution maybe i have some some other thoughts about it later in this month so stick with me subscribe to this channel uh, put a comment below if you want to commit to something already. Um, if you have anything or any questions about anything, just comment below, subscribe to this channel, and go check out our free uh, course uh, on our website by clicking the link below here. Also, we got Instagram, we got Twitter. You might want to check that out as well. There are links below this video. See you tomorrow. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.